Well, it is a question that comes up every presidential election year. Can a third party be a real contender against Republican and Democratic parties? Well, next year, a group called No Labels hopes the answer will be yes. Elaine Rojas Castillo talked with a Wisconsin voter behind an effort to get a third party candidate in the White House. Steve Martin is a man on a mission. Would you two have a minute to talk to me by chance? The Waukesha native says he never really felt like he had a place in politics throughout his life. I've always considered myself to be an independent. I voted once for Carter, once for Clinton, once for Obama, once for Biden, once for Bush, once for Bush. But I didn't really vote for any of them. I voted against their opponent. Now in his 70s, Steve says he was searching for something to do during his retirement and discovered no labels about five months ago. Started in 2010, the grassroots group focuses on bipartisanship and finding a candidate who can act as a bridge between differing opinions. A unity ticket featuring a moderate Republican and a moderate Democrat. And that's something I could actually vote for for the first time in a long time. That hope is what drives Steve to talk to anyone he can ahead of next year. Have you decided who you're going to vote for in the election next year? Including Jonathan Cortez and Hakeem Safi. The Milwaukeeans say they still haven't made up their minds about who to vote for. I don't want Trump coming back and all that, so you should get all different competitors, probably, you know, and yeah, different people. Jonathan and Hakeem say they didn't know about new labels, but are curious about what they have to say. All we know is about is just uh, name brand presidents or, you know, stuff like that. So in March, if there's something new we can look into, it just gives the people more uh, opportunities. Those with no labels say that their biggest goal with trying to get a third party candidate is to give voters a choice. We need somebody who is moderate on both sides to be able to reach out to their side of the aisle as president, vice president, to actually get something done. With Ross Perot and Ralph Nader being the biggest independent presidential candidates in recent history, Steve says he understands voters' concerns over splitting votes. He says no labels is focused on making sure whoever they get on their ticket has a fair shot, but won't stand in the way of what's right for the nation. If it ever gets to the point where we do not see a clear path for victory and that we would simply be a spoiler for either side, we'll simply pull the ticket. Steve says no labels volunteers are expected to ramp up their efforts in Wisconsin and across the country in the new year. In Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News.